Well, as we continue honoring our local black history tonight, we're introducing you to the artist behind the soon-to-come Charlie O'Farris sculpture. Markeisha Jackson joins us now with more on this. Markeisha. Yeah, Daryl, Eddie Dixon is a world-renowned artist, but creating the sculpture of Charlie has been one of his best moments yet. A lots of people that have contributed much to the nation haven't been remembered. You look at Charlie. Artist Eddie Dixon has always had a thing for untold stories. My niche, I stated, was going to be history. And better still, I wanted to do unsung heroes. So when the Wichita Falls Alliance for Arts and Culture called him about doing a sculpture, he was all in once he heard their story. <laughs> Black attorney in Texas. I mean, and uh, can you imagine the battle she had to fight? That attorney he's talking about is Charlie Oliveris. Born and raised in Wichita Falls, Ferris would go on to become the first African-American woman licensed to practice law in Texas. I want to illustrate pride. I want to head high and show that she had the tenacity to stick with it, and she did it with pride. Tenacity is something Eddie has too. From studying science in college to joining the armed forces, art was never on his radar. But once he tried it, he saw he had a real talent, a talent that has led him to have work in the Smithsonian, the Pentagon, and perhaps his most prominent piece, a depiction of the Buffalo Soldier that gained him recognition from President Bush. My mother was alive then, and she came to the unveiling, and I was pinching myself, and she said, what's wrong with with you. I said, well, I'm trying to see if this was real. She said, well, you have to understand you had your plans, but we never know what God's plans are. He's still using his God-given talent to tell the history that has long been forgotten, inspiring the next generation of artists. It's really amazing when you hear certain stories that you would have never known that these people came out of Wichita Falls. The Arts Alliance team saying they know they made the right decision selecting Eddie to do this piece. We can only hope to achieve as much as she did, but uh, it, it gives you hope. You never lose what you hold on to. And so she held on to that dream. She held on to what she was going to be, and no one was going to change her mind about it. That's what I want them to see. Now, Eddie plans to have the nine-foot-tall sculpture of Charlie bronzed and ready to be moved here no later than July. For more info, head over to our website. How exciting it yeah, is that we got to see wait. it first right here. First here, right here. Wow, he's so talented. I mean, that is really, really talent. something. And I love that video you had off the top of this story, too. Yeah. How, how amazing that was that, that, that we have that now. That's really something. Okay, thank you so much, Marquisha.